What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you all how to put some um, bearings on a carrier. It's a press fit so you got to make sure that you put the bearings in the oven. Make sure they're real hot that way they expand and you're able to slip it on the top of the carrier. Stick around and we'll show you step by step how to do it. All right guys, so before I drive the bearing on the carrier, I'm gonna go over the type of tools that we're gonna be using to do this. Uh, this is actually a race driver. So we're gonna use a race driver. We're also gonna use a uh, old bearing, the in, inside of an old bearing. We're gonna use this to drive the new bearing on and you'll see how I do that. And then a hammer, that's all you need. We got some uh, super white lithium grease. What we typically do is we'll take a little bit of grease, rub it around the carrier where the bearing seats. That way it makes it a little easier to go on. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, just enough to where it slips on there. And I'll wipe the excess of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bearings out of the oven and then we'll slip them on so that they're super hot. They should just slide down with a few hits of the hammer. So you'll see how that's done. Make sure you got some good welding gloves when you go to grab it out at 350 degrees, that stainless steel bearing is hot. All right, you can see here I have the bearing, it's 350 degrees. I'm gonna set it on top of the carrier. I'm gonna put the old internal of the bearing. We took off to use it as a, a guide. Use my race driver. I'm just gonna tap it. Right, you notice how it bounced like that? That's how you know that the bearing is seated on there. We'll hit it one more time just to make sure. Okay, see how it has a pitch change on it. All right, looks good. And if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it.